Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your continued love and support. I really appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. This is a timeless collective reading for all signs. So this could be related to you or someone in your energy. It may be a past situation, past life, current event, or a future prediction. Signs and gender are mentioned, but he could be a she, she could be a he. All right, the roles could be reversed. Keep in mind, energy is fluid. Please be discerning. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Let's see. Patience is needed or you've been very patient about something. Could have been waiting on some kind of news or communication to come in. It could be a job offer, an approval for something, confirmation. Could have been trying to figure out the truth about some kind of download that you got. Oh, the Empress. Now, that's a way to start reading. The Empress. Oh my goodness. You have here the Empress and the Emperor, the Magician and the High Priestess. Ooh. And the Page of Cups and the Hierophant. So, who's getting married? The Empress and the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Page of Cups, the High Priestess and the Magician. There is a spiritual connection, union, marriage that's happening. You have the Page of Cups and the Hierophant. The Page of Cups could just speak of a romantic offer, someone following their heart, a romantic gesture. It could be a date, a compliment, a sweet text message, a letter. It could be anything, but with the Hierophant here, this could also be like a proposal of a commitment. Um, I'll be honest, I, the Page of Cups with the Hierophant, I wouldn't say proposal if it was like the, the Hierophant with the Ace of Pentacles, I may think, but somebody may be proposing the idea of a relationship. There could be a conversation on the horizon about marriage or relationship um, doing something more just serious. It's a higher level of commitment. Wow. Ooh, I just did a reading and I'm, when I tell you it was like some serious, serious love in their reading to do this now. I don't know. There's a full moon in Aries coming up. We're in, um, Libra season right now. Oh, wow. Think about it. The Empress usually is Taurus, Libra energy, and the Emperor is Aries. So something here. High Priestess. And then you have the High Priestess, the Magician, and the Hierophant. Do y'all see what's happening here? <laughs> the High Priestess and the Hierophant. That's a spiritual... Like, to me, that's like counterparts with the Magician. These two people both have the tools and the resources that they need. The Page of Cups. There's going to be an expression of love. Oh my God, the lovers. What? The Strength card. This, this love is very strong. It's undeniable. Wow. I mean, geez, what else can you say? Ace of Swords, the High Priestess, you have the truth. The, the devil is here. You have the truth about something that was toxic. Something that was 
tracking you, haunting you, obsessing over you, watching you, monitoring you, investigating you, studying you and your connection here. Something that was bringing about disappointment or somebody has gone within to really do the shadow work and the healing that was necessary. And due to that now, it's like there is a connection here that is being completely like severed to some type of um, dark entity or an attachment. So this could be a person, whether it be a friend, family member or lover, but somebody here through a soul tie or connection was um, unfortunately being monitored by an entity. With the, This is the magician. So somebody here, it's like through some type of soul tie or connection, an entity has gotten connected to you, to your energy and has been monitoring you. Someone has done a lot of deep soul searching and healing. Yeah. With the judgment card, somebody now is realizing why they've been unable to really move away from something or someone or this entity has tried to keep someone in this energy of feeling like they are bound and stuck and they like they don't have the option to move on. This is definitely some type of bondage or binding. This is the second reading I've gotten today like this. Yeah. And judgment is being called on the situation. Wow. Yeah, somebody just couldn't realize what they couldn't understand why they couldn't walk away. Or it was very difficult for a person to walk away from a situation. It's because of binding magic here. Now, when I say binding, I, I want to clarify. I want to say more about that. Because everybody is not dealing with magic. Some people, unfortunately, have gone through a lot of mental, emotional, and psychological abuse. Especially if you've dealt with a lot of different um, narcissistic-like personalities. And it feels like binding magic but it's it's the spell it's the curse of heavy heavy gaslighting and manipulation someone is now realizing that they're constantly being disappointed with the two of cups being upright with the three of cups it, it's very difficult for someone to have friends family partnerships connections or celebrations it's because someone has been secretly spying on you this part there is a monitoring spirit attached to a person here you've been connected to this person somehow and you didn't know that this person was monitoring you i feel and feeding some kind of information back to an entity or this person like somebody could have been trying to do some type of sacrifice or they've been conjuring up some kind of dark energy or this is a situation where it's like in your family in your bloodline unfortunately there's just some type of energy that um it's like it it, it it's monitoring you or you could have picked this up through you know some type of sexual connection with the person whatever it is Somebody is having a, a wake up call now about how come they haven't been able to move forward. And the good thing is that whether this is you or someone you're connecting with or both of you, there is an awakening that's happening. Yeah, the star is here with the ten of swords in the reverse and the eight of pentacles in the reverse and the five of swords. So, yeah, something here is not going it's not going to work out. There was too much healing here. Somebody is attacking your energy and your energy is too raw, it's too pure, it's too authentic. The the light that is coming from you is is destroying whatever this dark energy or entity is. The ten of swords is in the reverse. The Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords in the reverse, to me, is like somebody was hoping that you would never, ever get out of whatever this dark cycle is. But with the Eight of Pentacles being in the reverse, it's like a lot of hard work for absolutely nothing because now the Five of Swords is in the reverse. The Five of Swords in the reverse is saying that there's a peaceful resolution here. Something is not going to work in a person's favor. The Tower in the reverse is at the bottom of the deck. The Six of Cups and the Five of Wands. This is some something from your past, your childhood, or a past life. With the Tower in the reverse, it's an inevitable end here of something here. It's a cycle. 
So for some of you, there's a person in your life, and I am, this could be a friend, a family member, a childhood friend, um, a past lover. It could be a parent, a family member, whomever. This person is in this lifetime as a karmic to you. Five of Wands. And there's a lot of conflict, jealousy, envy. This is just a, a lot of chaos from, like I said, from karma. And it was with the Hierophant here. It's a part of your life story and testimony. You are supposed to run into this person, this entity, or this energy because you have been assigned to get rid of it. The Five of Pentacles. Five, five. Five is a number of change. Five, five, five here. The Five of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands with the Ten of Swords and the Devil. So, yeah, it's like somebody thought that they were going... So, this phrase has been coming up a lot for me. It's like a glutton of punishment, okay? The reading I just did, I have not... I don't know if I'm going to upload their reading and this one. Um... Spirit told me not to upload their particular reading because it has a lot of details in it that, especially with the full moon coming up and people who tend to do so much magic, it may not really be safe to put their reading out at this time. But anyway, with this situation, what I'm seeing is a lot of people don't truly understand karma. And I want to speak about it because we are now in Libra season and you have justice coming. And as I mentioned before, if I, next month, we're going to have a partial lunar eclipse. And that partial lunar, lunar eclipse is actually going to be a Taurus full moon. The last partial lunar eclipse we had, it was a full moon in Scorpio back in May. Scorpio and Taurus are opposites. A lot of you are transitioning out of your south node or some type of karmic cycle completely. I feel like the last several months, let's say from May up until now even, it's sort of like um, you feel like you've been spiritually attacked just by the devil or hexes, curses or whatever. But it's like God has been testing you as well to make sure you truly are done with some type of situation from the past. Again, it's a partial lunar eclipse. So it's like you you cleared something out, you kind of set it in motion, and now this energy is coming back because you have to get rid of it completely. So it's like you're 50% done. So you've been tested a lot over the last few months, perhaps, to see are you truly ready for whatever this is that you're manifesting? And it's obviously... It's, it's divine union within yourself of your own feminine and masculine energy, as well as for some of you, it's an actual physical union between you and another person. There is, however, someone here in the center of this connection who is doing a lot of heavy magic and a lot of manipulation. Now, this could be, like I said, a friend, a family member. It could even be someone's child. With this six of cups here, this is someone that you've, some of you, you've known since childhood. It could be a mother figure, okay? Um, this energy has brought a lot of drama and conflict in your life. There's been a lot of abandonment and rejection. You could be dealing with like a mother, father wound, something like that. Like I said, just a lot of emotional issues, obstacles and challenges that you face. And it has most likely caused a lot of issues in your relationships, your high level of commitment. You could possibly be someone where you've been trying to identify different things about yourself spiritually. There is a major breakthrough that's happening now. Yeah, the sun. You're getting your happiness and your peace back. The sun and then here's the moon in the reverse. So this illusion is, is over. You finally have with the clarity card, the moon in the reverse and the sun. You finally have clarity on why you've been struggling is what I'm getting here. So let me just say this about karma. Me as a reader, I've always been able to pick up a lot of stuff, even since a child, about like past life. Um, I feel like a lot of people on my channel who, you know, I can channel these messages for. A lot of you have some, some very like ancient type of energy that's coming out. 
What some people don't understand about karma is that there's good karma and there's bad karma. We talk about people being assigned to your life and people being attached. Some of you have people who are just attached to your life from past lives because they're a part of like your soul family and they are actually here just to teach you lessons, okay? Good, bad, evil, ugly. It doesn't matter if it's good or there is really, we can say good karma, bad karma, but really all karma is good because in the end you're going to learn something, okay? However, there there's a person or people in your life for some of you from past lives, some of them, they owe you this lifetime for what they did to you in a past life. Okay. Some of you in a past life, you were not a light worker. You were not good. You were not great. You were not the, the good old saint that you are now. And you have wronged certain people in previous lifetimes. Nobody likes to talk about that. Everybody thinks that they incarnate and reincarnate every single lifetime as the perfect person. And you, you know, that's not true. Some people who are divine beings who are chosen, who are light workers. Now you have to go through <laughs> the beating. Okay. To become a divine being, an actual light worker. You could have done something really terrible to somebody in a past life and they've been beating your butt this lifetime. Again, nobody talks about that. So that person that you're like, oh my gosh, that person, they won't come back to you in a relationship or their friend, family member, whatever. Or you know how sometimes you'll just meet a person and it's just bad vibes. You could have had a past life with this person. You could have been bad. They now in this lifetime are showing you what they feel like in the last lifetime. This is why forgiveness is so important. And people say, well, forgiveness isn't for for them, it's for you. It's true because for some of you, you need to forgive yourself for what happened, what you did to somebody else from a past life. Some people in your life and they, um, they're they meant to bring you good karma because they didn't treat you well in the past life. Okay, you're going to have to start recognizing who's here to bring you good karma, who's here to bring you bad, bad experiences so that you eventually can get to your good karma. It looks like for me, somebody here has finally identified what this problem is. But this situation has gotten far more complicated than just karma. Somebody here from a past life, okay, friend, family member, lover, all of the above for some of you, they've been somehow binding you or the pain from the situation has kept you bound. And I always tell you guys, pain will eventually become an entity that will live outside of you. Some people are so mad. They're so shameful. They're so angry, bitter, and regretful that literally they live with the devil, like the devil dwells within them. It's just like how we say, like the Holy Spirit, Spirit will dwell within us because of our love and our light. Some people are so dark that demons and, and, and entities can dwell within them and possess them at any time because they're so low vibrational. There's a person here in your life or in your environment that is so low vibing that anything, anytime spiritual warfare comes up and there is an entity or anything that wants to steal your energy, all it has to do is use this person. Somebody now you're recognizing who this person is in your life. Either you or the person you're connecting with. They finally can see like, oh, wow, this is the reason why you can't get a higher level of commitment. This is why you can't get married. This is why you're scared to share your life story. This is why you have imposter syndrome. Somebody is finally getting like they know now or they're about to very soon. It's about to become very clear. Yeah, something here is not moving forward. The chariot, this illusion here, and with this hierophant, this could even be like a religious leader, um, someone that you have a lot of respect for, someone that you've placed on a pedestal. Um, this could be an elder, a spiritualist, a, a preacher, pastor, like I said, a family member, or whomever. This could definitely be someone that has taught you something, could be a mentor, or this person is some type of guide to you. Or they were, this person could have given you guidance or that was what they were supposed to do. Instead, this person decided to attack you and spiritually bully you. 
This could have been somebody that you were in a relationship with. So whoever, for some of you, this is a Taurus. This person, you may have started, <clears throat> look at my throat acting up, getting downloads about this person. Like I said, during the Scorpio full moon, which was May 5th. Remember I said five, five, five. That was on May 5th. It was a Friday. It was Scorpio full moon, five, five. And I just said fives are significant. This is in the spiritualist or an occultist who has been in the background doing magic and other things to cause a lot of shifts and changes in your life. I'm hearing finish them. So yeah, whatever um, karma, karmic balance you did not receive like fully earlier this year or in the past, you're about to receive it. Something here is not moving forward. You have two cards of cancer out here, the moon and the chariot. This also too could be some kind of moon magic. Somebody has caught on to this chaos, this conflict, magic or spell work that somebody here has been doing. Also, somebody is doing a lot of mind control, domination spells like that with the six of cups. Somebody wants you to st go back to the past, stay stuck in the past, or they're trying to force you into some kind of nostalgia or deja vu so that you will be conflicted about certain things, feeling very chaotic. Somebody here has done um, a lot of magic, perhaps on your money, or they blackmailed or blackballed you so that you could, somebody just has been doing a lot to block your path with the three of cups because yes, you are supposed to be celebrating. Three of Cups here, the King of Wands. Somebody is looking at you as wish fulfillment. And yes, they absolutely want to make you a major offer. So this right here will go with this Page of Cups. But you've been blocked. You've been blocked from taking, from receiving exciting news. Okay. Feeling down, depressed, mentally conflicted, exhausted. Constantly feeling like you need to heal, but now something is about to open up. Your heart is going to open so that you can actually go towards this two of cups. And what do we have here? The queen of wands, who is actually the match to the king of wands. Nine of pentacles and the nine of swords. Some of you could be worried, like wondering, are you ever going to actually meet the one? And yeah, you are three of wands here because it's your justice to come in. You've already planted good seeds. You've invested in something and something like someone has invested in you. You waited for this love a long time. For some of you, it's been seven to 10 years and you've been patiently waiting on love, the birth of a child, marriage, commitment, creative projects you've been trying to grow and develop your own spiritual gifts like you've been patiently waiting for a lot and it's coming in it is coming in somebody keeps doing some type of moon magic or illusion chaos magic and it has actually worked it has held you had you blocked the seven of wands clarifying the page of cups I don't know if it's a man or a woman. For some of you, it's a man that's been doing this. For some of you, it's a woman. For some of you, it's a couple. But you have more abundance coming in for yourself. Wow. King of Cups. See? Somebody, you're, you're, for some of you, you're going to have to block a person out. You're protected though. And these are all cup cards, the page of cups, the nine of cups, and the king of cups, and the ace of pentacles. Somebody sees you as wish fulfillment, the world. Yeah, there's an upgrade, an elevation here. You're moving up. Victory, success, rewards, recognition. Queen of swords, somebody here has been sending death. And I, I, I talked about this a few days ago. This is like word magic or spells that somebody has been doing, cursing your life so that you won't make a decision to drop burdens, to move forward, to actually go towards your happiness, your wish fulfillment, and any type of union or having just a more solid foundation. 
Here is the Queen of Cups who matches, of course, the King of Cups. So we have a pair out here. You have the Emperor and the Empress. You have the High Priestess, the Hierophant, the King and Queen of Wands, and you also have the King and Queen of Cups. So for some of you, it's like you and another person, you spend many lifetimes with this person. I also feel too that somebody has attacked every part of this connection. With the wands, someone has attacked the creativity, the passion, and you guys taking action. With the king and queen of cups, somebody has tried to attack your telepathic communication, you guys being um, able to have dreams about one another, just the emotions that you have. If you've been in any kind of connection, all of a sudden it's like the person is very detached or you're very hot and cold mood swings you're very irrational all of a sudden that's all been spell work the magician here is housing all of this devil energy seven of cups in the reverse two of pentacles like i said juggling somebody like wanted you and a person to just kind of like keep chasing your own tail so that you would never come to one another but this is faded yeah so somebody has constantly been interfering. You have to free yourself. Okay. You could have been in denial about whoever this was also. You could have been like really not wanting to believe. Especially if this is like a friend or family member. You may not have wanted to believe that this person was actually doing this to you. But someone has been very, very invested in blocking you. The temperance is here though. This is like two becoming one, fire and water. I'm almost like somebody here has done a lot to cover up the fact that like they've really been de destroying your life. Somebody definitely is speaking curses over your life. I don't know if this for some of you this the hierophant this could be a practitioner or you were in a relationship with someone in the past that's like a, a spirit they're very spiritual they could be in a like an occultist though they've tapped into some darker stuff i feel to have you like bound this is a hex or a curse or binding magic but for some reason here i mean i'm picking up a lot of stuff whoever this is if it was a person doing magic this person did something to bind up your chakras, especially your sacral. And it's like they've been using that energy to give it to an entity. And I'm assuming it's for some kind of sacrifice. But I'm also picking up too, like this is a situation where someone... If it's in your family, it's like an entity in your family. Whatever this entity is, it's able to see. It knows everything that you're doing. That's why it's it's not so much just a person. This is not just flesh. This is an entity for sure. It knows everything that you're doing. So you could also have a person in your life. They're, they're an agent of the devil. They're a monitoring spirit. Temperance could be a Sagittarius. Seven of Pentacles. Or this is happening to a Sagittarius. Somebody has been hiding in plain sight. Three of Cups. This could be someone you celebrate with. Friend, family member. But this Three of Cups page of Wands is a celebration. There's exciting news coming in. Knight of, of Pentacles. Yeah, about there's news. This confirmation here. Somebody, it's like you've been living in, like in fear and paranoia and going through all this drama for so long. And you're finally about to. So for some of you for a long time, you haven't known who was watching you. Or what was watching you. Look, the Page of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody has been monitoring everything that comes into your life. Ace of Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Someone has been monitoring this. 
ace of wands and every time they see this offer come in three of pentacles they strike there's teamwork and collaboration this could first this could be somebody in your family king of wands the temperance that's very heavy sagittarius energy and then the six of pentacles sagittarius this temperance can also be like earth angel energy an alchemist an ancient soul like a sage three of cups it's like you're celebrating something exciting there's an offer that's coming in you may not be that excited about accepting this offer in the beginning because there's paranoia you're in this wounded warrior energy but if you open your heart up to receive this is actually the ace of pentacles i feel like somebody is is watching you this this page of swords is more like a secret admirer but the page of swords also speaks of being curious about something I feel like whatever this offer is that's coming in, you need to explore whatever this is. Yeah, because it brings great passion. Ace of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Somebody wants to come in and work with you to give you the Ten of Cups. This King of Wands is looking at this Ten of Cups, this Three of Pentacles, this Ace of Wands. This person is looking over something and they, they can see that they want to make this offer to you but remember somebody in the background can see that this person wants to make an offer to you as well and they've been doing everything to stop it i feel strongly like it's an entity it's an entity and in, in different agents of the devil and this could be for sure it's something here about family somebody has like a family member or something that could have mental health issues they're just not wrapped all the way to, this person is doing a lot to make sure that someone stays stuck they do not want this person to take action towards you or you take action towards this person the queen of pentacles somebody does not want a person to receive some kind of offer but it's like the king of swords somebody is coming in to communicate the truth that they want this relationship regardless of what anybody else wants Eight of Wands, told you. It's communication coming in. Now the Six of Swords is in the reverse. The Eight of Wands with the Six of Swords in the reverse. Why is the Six of Swords in the reverse? Here's Justice and the Ace of Cups. I feel like with the Eight of Wands here, something is going to move really, really fast. There could be news, communication, or travel. The swords is communication also and thoughts. Again, something is going to come at you so quickly. You, you may initially not want to deal with this, but it's actually your justice. The Ace of Cups. You've been stressed out, worried, losing patience for a long time. You're about to be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and it says everything, everything is fine. It's coming in. Somebody is rushing in because they're having an awakening. And if you are connected to this person on a spiritual, energetic level, for sure, if you are becoming clear about something in your family, they're becoming clear about somebody in their family or their friend group. It's like a mirroring situation here. If you're, you, because here's the Eight of Swords. This is some kind of mental entrapment that had you stuck and unable to go towards this Ten of Pentacles. That's being removed for you and another person. Again, the Three of Cups. This is somebody's friends or family. Or it's an entity that dwells within uh, like a family, like in the bloodline that has someone in this energy of missing opportunities. The Page of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands.
for some of you, this King of Pentacles and Queen of Wands, this is this is the confirmation that you needed. Okay, let me see. I'm, I'm gonna tell you how I'm reading this in two different ways. For some of you, you have had a couple that has been spiritually attacking you, keeping you stuck and bound at the crossroads, unable to move forward in your relationship. Okay, this could literally just be a couple attacking you. For some of you, you have an ex, your person has an ex. Both of you have been in very dark karmic past life connections with people who carry a very, very low, low vibration that has unfortunately had you connected to an entity that has been blocking all of your forward movement. This situation seems very... Um, tricky because it almost feels like this king of pentacles and this queen of wands they come out they've been coming out together in readings for years this is somebody who's all about money this is somebody here who is all about uh manifestation even when it comes to magic okay remember i kept saying that page of pen that pentacle for you is confirmation you're going to get confirmation that you hold some type of gift, some kind of asset, something of value that this king of pentacles has been holding on to. And it has been feeding this queen of wands or whatever they have together. If this is a couple for some of you, this queen of wands, remember, this is energy. And you're not just wrestling against flesh, but also against entities and principalities. For some of you, again, this king of pentacles or queen of wands could very well be this, um, this devil. Somebody here is doing magic, but they've been using your energy or this is happening with your person. Someone has been using your energy to bind you up in the spirit and they've been giving it to an entity. And these people, there's this entity is what they worship for, for power, victory, success, rewards, recognition. Like I said, this is like a couple. This is a lot of past life stuff, though. It feels almost like you and a person who are coming together. The people that you guys left behind, it's almost like they, those two people, like there should be a swap out. It seems like you and someone are both leaving some kind of bad connection because you guys are high vibrational. The low vibrational people that you're leaving behind, they should be in a relationship together. Or maybe they were in a relationship together or in a past life that was the case for some of you. Because this king of pentacles and this queen of wands, they always come out together. But again, for some of you, this is an actual couple who has been siphoning and harvesting your energy for the longest and some type of blockage has been removed. But they've been working with some type of demon or entity of some sort to have you bound. They, they put something on you to monitor your energy so that they could steal from you. That was the whole point. The Hierophant, yeah, this could be a, a, a group of occultists, a religious group. For some of you, this is a couple. They stole something from you. And it's like they fed you to the beast. Yeah, the sign. Your energy is being cleansed and purified. Definitely could be a Leo out here. The strength card. 
with this Queen of Wands and the Magician. Page of Swords. So for some of you, ooh, for some of you with this awakening that has happened, you're now you're fighting this person in the spirit and you're winning. The other day I spoke about Lilith. Now, some people consider Lilith to be a demon, but as a lot of people explain to me, for some people, people see Lilith as um a very just strong, courageous type of energy who was demonized for not conforming. Um, people say Lilith was was Adam's wife before Eve, okay? Everybody has different beliefs, but let's consider that there's always duality and polarity. Some people see Lilith as something that is very bad, some not so much. It feels like because some people here, you are beginning to heal a lot of your shadow. When it comes to any of these, um, we can consider it like spirit guides for you, maybe. You have protection that's coming from energies of light and darkness. You're pulling in the the masculine and feminine energies, the light and the dark. So it's like if somebody is trying to battle you with something perhaps demonic, because of how high vibing and protected you are now, there's even dark workers that are protecting you. And I feel like that is the reason why now this situation is coming to an end because a lot of people, like I said before, and now it makes sense why I said that. Most people, they, they forever run from their shadow. Some people would never say admit in a past life they did something wrong. And that's why people are haunting them down this lifetime. But see, when you really start shape shifting and traveling through different timelines and dimensions, you you have to learn that you don't, although your soul can remember those different um, incarnations or reincarnate, you don't have to keep yourself in that cycle. These people are latching on and attaching to you and attacking you possibly for something that happened in a past life and they've been able to get away with it because you were not awakened and aware about the fact that your human mind you're seeing them this lifetime you're not thinking about a past life they've been beating you down for something that happened in a past life whether you did something to them or they did something to you and thought that they was just going to come back this lifetime and keep doing it it doesn't matter who was right or wrong. The point is, is that this is a karmic contract that should have been over and done with. But because you were not fully awakened or aware or your person wasn't, and that could have been due to the fact that they was doing so much heavy magic on you, you didn't even realize it. There's been a major shift or awakening now that has taken place where now the missing pieces, you can see these people in the spirit. So that automatically cancels, <laughs> deletes and voids out anything that they're doing. So going back over here with the moon in the reverse, the, the, the five of wands, everything that they've been doing in the past, they are now going to face. There is an inevitable end here. There is no way out for them because the sun is here. It's, it's being exposed what they're doing. They, they're, they've been exposed in the spirit. You see them. Your spirit guys, your spiritual team, they've always seen them. The point in you learning, though, is that you have to start seeing them for who they truly are and why this is happening. And to give you more guidance here, you had to understand who you were in a past life. Maybe you were a dark witch or priestess in a past life. Or you could have been a healer and a light worker in the past, like I said, and these could just be spiritual bullies. But there is a part of your shot. I don't I feel like for some of you in a past life, you may not have done something that was so great. The reason why I say that is because you are being forced to embrace a shadow. 
on the flip side, there's something from your past life that is dealing with spirituality or even the occult or something like that. And because you keep trying to repress it and suppress it when it's actually a huge part of your life path and journey, you're not tapping into that ancient wisdom, hidden knowledge that you have to fight this. So it's like you keep going through the same thing because it's kind of like, well, God, it's like, so I gave you a gift. Um, this gift is the key to your freedom, but you keep throwing the key back, back at God. And he's like, so what do you want me to do now? So as you embrace your own shadow, your shadow is just simply something within yourself that you're afraid to accept. You're afraid to believe. Sometimes we all have, and, and this is, you know, me just sharing because of my own personal spiritual journey as well. I know for a sure fact in every lifetime, I wasn't the nicest person. But like I said, a glutton for, I'm not so um, caught up in who I was in a past life that I'm going to let you bully me and demonize me and destroy me for something that happened in a past life. Because there's people that's taking advantage of the fact that you're not fully awakened. And that's what tends to happen. And some people, because they are so angry, bitter, mean, and narcissistic, they're mad at you for something that happened in the past life, and they'll just keep attacking you over and over and over. They're not going to come out of their cycle. It's up to you to come out of their cycle. It's up to you to say, okay, listen, I'm sorry for whatever I did to you in the past life, but this is over. Or, okay, listen, you've been beating me up in every lifetime where we cross paths. I'm not about to let you beat me up anymore. No matter if you were good, bad, evil, or ugly, you ha you're going to have to stand up to this, this energy. This energy has been blocking this feminine and masculine energy, yeah, it could be for a lot of your twin flame partnership, but it's also, it's been blocking the full integration of you balancing your own feminine and masculine energy. When you want to go towards like a twin flame partnership of, of or soulmate connection or whatever, your feminine and masculine energy needs to be balanced so that you are an actual vibrational match for a counterpart. Some of you, you only want to embrace your light because light is, is fun. It's, it's, it's pretty, it's, you know, it's hard work. Yeah. But nobody wants to embrace the fact that, oh, maybe in a past lifetime, you were a narcissist and this lifetime you've had to embrace many narcissists to find out what those people felt like in a past life when you were a narcissist. And now you have to be able to admit guilt, forgive yourself and then for what you did in the past life and then forgive them for what they've done to you this lifetime. Because what they did to you or what you did to them is, is your karma or their karma. But how we react and respond to what a person did to us and their karma becomes our karma. You're getting confirmation. What I just say, Page of Pentacles. You're getting confirmation. Look at this. The higher. Oh my gosh. These readings today have been like so spot on. Look at this. You have the Hierophant. There's nobody out here. This Hierophant, it's like lights out for this person. And then the Hierophant. What did I just say? For some of you, you were not always of light. That's possible. You now are learning about a shadow aspect. You could be a light worker this lifetime. Last, work, last lifetime, you could have been a whole dark priestess. The contract is over. It's a karmic contract. So for some of you, you're closing out a past life karmic contract that you were in.
Page of Swords and the Lovers. Whoever you were in a relationship with this past life karmic soulmate, this person, justice is them, them leaving. Justice is them being eclipsed out. That's your justice. Because, again, I don't know if you did something to them in a past life or they did something to you. But somebody thought they were going to come into this lifetime and really take advantage of you. But you've grown too much. Whoever this is thought, oh, I'm going to get you back for what you did to me last lifetime. Or I'm just going to keep traveling to every single lifetime bullying you. And Spirit said, no, you're not. Page of Swords. You've learned the truth about this connection. The page of swords is watching, it's learning, it's curiosity. You see the truth. And this person, for some of you, whoever it is, friend, family member, lover, they've been watching your connections in this lifetime. And they've been holding on to the truth. They knew who you were the entire time. Because you were their lover many times. The Page of Pentacles is out here twice. They now are about to fall from grace and experience a death. Page, the, the um, Justice card with the sword down. This is nail in the coffin energy. This is over. This person is shape shifting. And like I said, they're going from different lifetimes, planes, timelines, dimensions, playing all these games with you. Mm -mm. It's over. I don't care if you did something to them bad or not. The way this person has been spiritually monitoring you, bullying you, and playing around with these different in, um, entities and magic. And I'm talking about right now in this lifetime. That's against all spiritual and moral code. And the, the Queen of Swords, you have to stand up for yourself and let this person know, no, 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 no. You're not doing this anymore. Page of Swords, yeah. This this person, all of this energy they sent out is about to come back and, and really be haunting them because the star is here. You've done too much healing. Archangel Michael is here protecting you. The King of Cups here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You have here the Magician. And see, so you're manifesting someone who has a very light and pure heart. Page of Wands with the Sun and then the High Priestess. So this confirmation is about this past life contract with this friend, family member, a lover who has this just strong hatred and personal vendetta against you. As you close this cycle out, this new person comes in. Yep. The hermit. Somebody here has to go completely off the grid, soul search, heal, and now become very, very balanced. Here's the Knight of Pentacles taking an offer, I feel, to this Queen of Pentacles. And I feel like your spiritual team is telling somebody, whoever this is that keeps on trying to send these attacks, that they better back up because now this person is somewhere trying to fight. They want to try to reverse what they've done. And they want you to see them as a king of cups, but they've already revealed themselves as someone who is very negative. This person, for some of you, the crazy thing is that they actually want you to consider being with them. And that's why all of this has happened. Look at this. The world and the judgment. Double Scorpio. Okay. Scorpio. See, I'm telling you, Scorpio season is going to have a partial lunar eclipse with the Taurus full moon. The last shall be first and the first shall be last. Taurus and Scorpio are opposites. Somebody here made some kind of offer and they spiritually attacked you perhaps because you turned down an offer. You may have turned down this person's offer. They spiritually attacked you. This person could be mad at you because in a past life you left them. 
They also could be mad at you because in this lifetime, you didn't choose them. Somebody is, is determined to get you stuck and bound to them. But I don't feel like you're choosing this path with this person because they work for the dark side and you don't. They're like a hierophant in the reverse. They're a, a, a nasty like person and you, you don't get down like that. So you're, the contract, you're like, no, it's null and void. It doesn't matter what kind of past life connection you have. You told this person, no, they got angry at you. They started to create illusions, maybe even spread, like slander your name or whatever. And you've always been the empress. This person was trying to sacrifice you to the devil. And now a tower has hit. Because whatever spiritual attack they sent out is stuck. You're too powerful and too strong. This person has been sending out different dark entities, monitoring spirits, familiar spirits or something like that to monitor this connection that's coming in for you. Because whoever is coming in, they're going to be with you. It's going to result in marriage. Let's see the very first cards that came out. The emperor, the empress, the strength card and the lovers. It's a strong, strong connection that can't be broken. Yeah. The empress, judgment, justice. Divine Feminine, this is your call. Part of your journey was to completely slay this beast. And this is a friend, a family member, or a lover of yours. I don't know who this person is in your life right now, but they definitely in a past life, they could have been your lover. They want you to do whatever you did in the past life. They want you to do it now. And you're saying no. Or even in this lifetime. When you were in a lower vibrational energy, you was with this person. They are doing everything to call. They want you to return back to being somebody who was, who was helpless and hopeless, who will accept anything. So they keep sending out this same spiritual attack to try to beat you down Mentally, physically, and emotionally have you broken destitute because they really want you to bow down and conform to going back to like I mentioned before, Lilith, you're, you're refusing to conform to this person. For some of you, I don't know, maybe you're working with Lilith or you're embodying some type of energy like that. You're saying you're the first. You're letting this person know that you are their equal and that makes sense. Hierophant with the hierophant. This person does not want to respect the fact that both of you are spiritual leaders. One of you works for the, for the light. One works for the dark. You and this person, maybe there could have been a chance for you to be together, but they were supposed to grow and ascend with you and they did. Therefore, they canceled out the contract. What this person thought they were going to do is sway you to work with the devil by doing binding magic on you and stalking you and spying on you nonstop using magic. This person was obsessed with control. You're dealing with the spirit of narcissism and a lot of principalities. This person is in the spirit trying to set rules for your life. Again, this could be a lover. This could be a friend, family member. For some of you, it's all of the above. You have a bunch of people. They want you to conform. You've been afflicted by this person, this demon, this entity for a long time. Because the both of you have been chosen to do something, but somebody just refused to heal. I'm getting strong family member and lover. For some of you, both. This person was supposed to heal. And that this person is so manipulative, I'm telling you, they thought, well, I can pretend that I'm gonna heal just enough to get you to come back and they steal your energy and use your energy to support whatever dark stuff that they're doing you can't fool god <laughs> so now empress you have to call judgment on this person or empress this is a mother figure that you have to call judgment on this could be your mother doing this trying to force you to conform and you'll have to find out if it's, if it's especially like your mother, what exactly, who and what, who you were to this person in a past life.
because this person is, is is seriously they're they're going to force you to live a certain type of way and the way that they want you to live it means that you will have to completely forfeit your own soul purpose and life journey so you have to stand up and say no I'm just getting like, you're going to have to raise your sword to whoever these people are. Yeah, liberate yourself. There's an emperor here that's ready to connect with you. Liberate yourself. And now for some of you, again, this emperor here, there you have it. That's that Eve, Lilith, and, and Adam energy. There's an emperor out here who had to make a choice between a queen of cups and a queen of wands. Well, who do we see him end up with? King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. He chose his Queen of Wands, but he wishes that he would not have missed out on the opportunity to deal with this free and liberated um, Queen of Cups here. Yep. Now this person is stuck. And whatever magic they've been doing with this Queen of Wands, they've been caught. Queen of Wands, yeah. Moon magic. Look at this. Double moon these people have been doing some kind of hypnosis, mind control. Um, they could be using some kind of past life regression. They've definitely been doing something to tap into your past lives, your Akashic records or something like that. And they knew with the star card here that you were destined to be quite the star. So these people do this. Like they, they use some kind of tool of divination to find out a lot about your past lives and they've used it against you so the closer that you were getting to finding out about yourself they were doing magic on your crown chakra i'm looking here at this four of pentacles i keep looking at it crown chakra they were doing magic this right here is close to your heart chakra they were doing magic on that and then not your root chakra, but there is some other kind of um, chakra that's here that extends past your feet. Like people learn about the seven main chakras, but this is like, um, hold on. It's like an earth chakra. I think it may, let me find out if I can see the name of it. But see, this is a little bit outside of your, it's like within your auric field, but it's lower than the seven main chakras. Ooh, the earth star chakra. The earth star chakra located below the feet serves as an extension of the root chakra, offering an amplified level of grounding and stability. It connects us directly to the core of the earth and the collective consciousness of humanity, providing a broader perspective and a deepened sense of interconnectedness. Whoa. This chakra is believed to be located about 12 inches below the feet. If you guys have been having a lot of problems I'm getting with your feet and your wrist. This is why. This 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 person, whoever this is, they know a lot about metaphysics and chakras. A lot. This person could be into energy work, like Reiki, or like I said, metaphysics, something like that. And they could def this could this person could be a Capricorn or Taurus, heavy, definitely a Taurus with all this earth chakra. This person is about to pay for this though. The chakras hold the secrets to how you feel about yourself and your world, how you get along with other people, the health of your body, your financial situation, whether or not your weight's a problem, how you make decisions, your spiritual advancement, and access to your own spiritual gifts. There's like, there's like 114 chakras in total, but the, the earth chakra is not located in the physical body, but it has a major effect on your day-to-day -day life. It is located about 12 feet. I'm sorry, about 12 inches below the feet. So about a foot underneath your feet. 
It is considered one of the subpersonal chakras or as the super root. Its most important features are its rooting and grounding properties. While it would seem like the root chakra itself already handles this, the earth star chakra goes a step further to be the anchor of the whole chakra system. Dang. Oh my God. The earth chakra connects one's personal energy to the greater earthly and universal energies. So you mean to tell me that this person here has somehow gone and tried to bind up someone's earth chakra? So this is controlling like how you show up in the world completely. This person knows that you're a star. They know it, the star. Double moon here. So they they blinded you by pretty much like shutting down your whole chakra system. This is affecting how you show up in the world, your finances, your security, everything. I mean, obviously what this person has done is they've done something with your earth star chakra to control all of your chakras. So at any time this person is doing energy work, they're throwing off your finances, messing up your sacral chakra reproductive issues fertility issues finances they're affecting your heart chakra they're opening and closing your um your heart chakra when they want to so whenever you have new love they close your heart chakra whenever you want to manifest something they close your heart chakra your solar plexus which is your willpower your creativity this is the, like this this is all of, with self-awareness so you can never You can never think straight. You can never get to your north node. So this is somebody who literally did some heavy magic to completely block your entire soul journey. It can't be, it can't actually be done because that was given to you by God. But what this person has done is. They've delayed it a lot. It's almost like it, this person is made like if you're going to live in your purpose, you would have to literally die and go and, and, and reincarnate again because it's like they're saying, well, I refuse to let you live your purpose this lifetime, especially if you're not going to be with me or conform to what I want you to do. This person works with earth magic. So this could be somebody who, who goes out in the forest and does a lot of stuff. Um, I don't know, like, like jinns and druids, stuff like that. I, I think those, some of those may be um, well, like earth magic. And, and it's interesting because... Those different spirits, when you think about earth magic, to me, I'm thinking like graveyard. This person is probably doing a lot with necromancy and everything else. And the root, they're going back in your lineage. This person knows something about your Akashic records, your lineage, your ancestry, and they know that you're destined for some type of greatness. So somebody has gone and just completely binded you in the spirit. But this is, I mean, it's genius what they've done. But baby, I, I see you now in this reading. So I'm going to go and I'm going I'm to shout to everybody what's, about what's going on because most people are only thinking about the seven main chakras. No, this person is going and trying to do some kind of spiritual surgery or something on somebody by binding your earth chakra, your star, um, your earth star chakra that's below your feet. So this is to keep you all, think about it. It's like you're always on shaky ground. You're always on shaky ground. You're always in fight or flight. You're always in survival mode. And literally what this person is doing is they are controlling your entire chakra system. This goes beyond domination and control. This person at any time, they're like, oh, you want to be in love? Mm -mm, shut that down. Oh, you want to have a child? This person is causing people to have mis like everything. Miscarriages. Um, financial ruin. Bankruptcy job loss like they're they're just anything that allows you to have be rooted and stable 
they've done this. And for some of you, unfortunately, this could have happened to somebody like as a child or at birth. Because obviously you're the go you're like the golden child. If this isn't happening to you, it could be happening to your counterpart. And because those energies are integrated, you're picking up on it. Somebody has had a psychic or somebody to tell them a person's fortune and they went in the in spirit and tried to take it, but they somebody was like bound in spirit. So this person most likely has um this this has me like blown. This person knows something about your prophecy. And the reading that I did before, literally, it was like the prophecy from the book of Tobit or um, coming through with the girl who Sarah, who was afflicted by the demon Asmodeus, who was just he killed seven of her husbands because he was a demon who was obsessed with her. He didn't want her to be with anybody. And finally, Tobias was able to come through with the, the help of Archangel Michael. He had to get rid of this demon so that he could marry Sarah. This person knows that if you get into this relationship, that's the end of them. Because it's a prophecy. So this is somebody who knew. It's reminding me of in Harry Potter. When they got um, access to what you would really call like the Akashic Records, there was a memory that they found, but the memory had been tampered with. This person knew something about a prophecy and they and a memory and they went in and they tried to change it because what they saw was that for you to live your life meant that they had to face their ending. So this extremely demonic person has been throwing off your entire nervous system and chakra system by playing around with your earth star chakra. This is all about your, your programming, your emotions, like everything. So like if you all of a sudden you have all these problems with like your friends or your family, they're doing things to your root chakra. Anything in your life, like tampering with your car, your home, your family, your finances, Anything to keep you off kilter is what they're doing. Dang. Look at that. Someone is doing black magic. Juju work on you. So this person saw block solar plexus. This person saw something in your future and they decided, no, that they were just going to keep blocking your solar plexus so that you will have no power, no willpower to transform your life. Instead, they wanted you to just constantly have cycles of bad luck because, again, it's and I've talked about this in many readings. It's you or them. And because of that prophecy, this is you in a connection with a demon if that counterpart comes through the counterpart you going into this connection with this counterpart means that this demon must die somebody here knows that they're possibly going to have an actual like physical death you getting mad that's why somebody's like you cannot get married you can't be with anybody you because the moment that you get that, it's the end of them because they were only, I've talked about this so many, they were only contracted. I mean, like this, it's a prophecy. In the prophecy, they have to die. They want you to miss an opportunity. Some of you may need to walk, work with um, lavender. Lavender sage clears away negative thoughts, enhances intuition. Lavender is very calming and peaceful, causing you to have hot and bot causing you hot and cold body flashes. 
So you could be feeling sick. Like I said, if they're playing around with your earth star chakra, your entire nervous system, everything is off. Look, this person is an earth sign. Y'all, this person is, it's, it's it. Your significant other is sending you negativity. This could be someone in your life or this is an ex. They're jealous of the attention that you receive from others. Again, Asmodeus was a demon. He literally was killing every single man that Sarah was married on their wedding night. He would kill them before they could sleep with her because he wanted her to remain pure and only his. He was a demon. Hating on your successful life choices. Again, this person said, if you're not going to conform to their way, their way of life, and stop healing, then they've decided, I'll just bind you in the spirit and destroy everything. This person could have been spreading rumors about you. This person will do anything to go out and destroy you. This literally is like a, a spiritual serial killer. But they, they're completely obsessed with you. Jealous of your material lifestyle, home, cars, and clothes. This person just, they don't want you to have anything. If it's not with them, you can't have anything according to them. Judging your spiritual and religious choices. Causing drama and fights in your love life. Your connections and friendships. You need an amethyst. Heavy emphasis on amethyst here. And the color purple. The color purple could be of significance, just like how in the color purple, Miss Ely and Mister, he literally had her as like his personal prisoner. He literally he had a whole woman living in the house. He treated her like like she was his personal slave. That's what this person thought that they would catch you at a time in your life when you may not have been at your your highest frequency and vibration and that they will force you into conforming they will isolate you and 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 just have you conform to however they want to live this person is trying to cause issues with your car blocked root chakra sleep paralysis yeah this person is sending all kind of dark entities to you during your sleep to collect information Someone is doing black magic. This is why you're feeling tired and fatigued. And when shit hits the fan, this person will be will be ghost. There's going to be some kind of unexplained freak accident. In the prophecy, this person dies. That's just, that's just it. Look, it says you already know who this person is. Secretly jealous and hating on your romantic relationship. And this person wants to alter your values and morals on your life decisions. Wow. You're going to have to do a cord cutting ritual of uh, protection, something. I'm hearing the song right now, Rihanna, Kiss It Better. And I just keep her saying, What are you willing to do? Oh, tell me what you're willing to do. Kiss it, kiss it. <laughs> so I feel like that's a new person. Or this is you. It's like there's this communication between you and somebody else. And, and if somebody's like, so what are you willing to do? And, and this new person, and, and Archangel Raphael, Archangel Michael and God, they're going to get whoever this person is out. Somebody here is going to be in poverty or they are afraid of being in poverty. There's a change coming. Somebody could go to jail. This person is not going to be a problem for you. Official person, high honor. Somebody who's been in poverty is about to become an official person. And whoever this is that's been in the background doing this, they're concerned. Yeah, if you've had money problems or anything, that's, yeah, that's ending. Privileged lady unexpected income because whoever this is in your energy they've been caught yep wow journey somebody is on a journey to bad health and poverty and it has already been decided spiritual court is in session it has been decided already 
This person was trying to go up against God. God was like, are you stupid? I saw you. I saw everything you did. It's my prophecy. Marriage. You're on the pathway to marriage. I'm telling you, this person knows. Look at this. High priestess. This person knows. Man, it, <laughs> the secret is out. If this spiritual union happens with this king of wands, queen of cups, temperance energy, that balance that comes in with these two people. See, another thing too is for those of you who resonate with like the twin flame journey for sure, if you have now gone into a union with your masculine, one of you has the... um. One of you, that shadow energy that has now that you you integrated now is what's per pushing this person out. This energy and this could be happening with both of you. So let's say you and a person come together. You're the one in the connection that's of light. OK, they could be, you know, kind of in their ego or whatever, but your healing energy your light is healing them. It's showing them the truth about themselves. So it's helping them to transform their life. Some of you, you're so caught up in only love and light and you're refusing to see your own shadow, which has nothing. When you say shadow, that has nothing to do with you doing something bad. But you are not seeing that there's things you haven't released. When you meet this person, they're going to cause you to go through some type of awakening where you're going to start seeing the truth about everything around yourself. Therefore, you're going to recognize that you have an attachment to a demonic entity. Somebody has been spying on this connection. Look, the hermit with the knight of pentacles in the reverse, they've been trying to slow down because you have this king of wands who was a natural born leader. And this man has his eye right on this queen of cups. Well, there's the high priestess. But the high, high priestess is something that's very spiritual. So somebody was hoping that you would miss out on this opportunity with this wealthy man. Mature woman and occupation. Like I said, somebody's mother could be in on this as well. That demon Asmodeus doesn't work alone. So somebody's mother could carry like a Jezebel spirit. There's different dark spirits and energies, entities, and demons that are all connected to this. Sudden wealth and a gift. Yeah. You've been expecting this wealthy man to come in with a gift that is sudden wealth. It's a marriage. Somebody does not want you. And the story of Tobias and Sarah, he's a young, wealthy man. It go, you can go read the story. I'm not making it up. He's a young, wealthy man who was sent out on a mission. He met Sarah. Sarah was already afflicted by Asmodeus. In order for him to marry her, he had to go get the help of Archangel Raphael to kill Asmodeus. He was her eighth person. She had, she had seven husbands. This demon had killed all of them because he wanted her stuck. Think about all of the fairy tale stories. The princess is just, you know, stuck somewhere waiting on the, on the prince to come. That's what this is. But somebody here was stuck by a, a demon. But there is somebody that's coming in. That's why it's been like, no. This person cannot meet this twin flame. They can't meet this soulmate because as soon as you meet that person and that twin flame connection or count whatever it takes place, you go into holy matrimony. This person instantly is out of there. That's a prophecy playing out. It's God's plan. It has been written. You cannot change it. Like people say, oh, the stuff that's in Revelations in the Bible, we see it happening now. This is a prophecy that is playing out right now. This demon that's in love with this divine feminine is going to die and be taken out as soon as this other counterpart comes in. 
So this person literally has been controlling you like a puppet by playing around with your earth star chakra. Throwing you completely off balance so that you can't actually attract this person. But see, if you know their story, Tobias, from what I, I read, Tobias and Sarah both, they were willing, they were almost ready to just give up on, on life altogether because they both had been struggling for so long. Every person she meets ends up dead because of a demon. I think with him, it was something going on where he couldn't get money, like he had lost everything or, or, or whatever the case is. They both were praying for love. They found each other. It's now I'm hearing Rihanna. Um, we found love in a hopeless place. And before I kiss it better. So somebody could like Rihanna. Somebody could be a Pisces because I know Rihanna is a Pisces. And I'm seeing Rihanna and Drake. Drake is a Scorpio. So Pisces and Scorpio could be of significance. And think about Rihanna, Drake, and her partner now. She eventually, she, she, her and Drake, although it seemed like they were perfect together, she, she didn't end up with Drake. She ended up with somebody who was her close friend, who she could be vulnerable with. It doesn't matter about her being a billionaire or anything else. She went with somebody who she could build her legacy with. Drake is too busy being Drake. This person in your life, they're too busy doing whatever they're doing. But they were trying to spiritually beat you into submitting to them. All I'm going to say is for this person to have attacked you on this level in the spirit. There's absolutely no way they can get out of this. King of Swords, the Knight of Swords. That's that Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael energy. This person is somewhere now. They are scared. They don't know what to do. They're trying to figure out how can they block this. And they hope that they can get off free again. But no, you're too wise. You're too awakened. You're too aware. You're a high priestess. This person thought they could do this because they were a dark priest. No. And let me say this. If you were ever a dark priestess. Your soul can remember that. Therefore, the things that they throw at you, even though your human mind may not remember it, your soul can remember it. They throw a magic at you that you've, you, that you've done with them before in a past life. You chose this lifetime to not do that. To use your gifts for something good. So your soul can remember. Oh, you remember the, the magic that they're throwing at you now? Your soul remembers it. You're just not willing to stoop to that level because now you've chosen to walk closely with God. You're not playing around with anything dark. And this person, that's what they want you to do because they don't want to heal. Wow. So really they were trying to, like I said, they know you in the spirit. They didn't want you to remember things about yourself from a past life. Because they always knew how powerful you were anyway. The minute you remember yourself and awaken and the minute that you go into this new connection, that's it. Whether it's your awakening first or you meeting this new person. Either way, it's a done deal for them. You're this person's life support. Once you cut this cord or whatever the case, that's it for them and they know that. That's why they watch and study you so closely. They have to know what are you doing? How much do you know now? They're tempered. They're trying to go in your dreams say to see, well, are, are you seeing me in your dreams? Do you know it's me? Wow. This is my second reading. The first reading, it revealed the prophecy to me. This reading is revealing... <laughs> Everything about the demon in your life that you once loved and you were assigned to slay. I'm going to leave it here. Whew. This full moon in Aries is no joke. <laughs> it's coming up in a few days. What's today? The 26th? 
Yeah, full moon in Aries. That partial lunar eclipse is going to be October 28th. So in about a month, towards full moon, this Hierophant, that's it for them. <laughs> yep, Aries full moon is Friday, three days. I'm going to leave it here, you guys. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know how this resonated with you. Remember to always go with and so that you never go without. I love you so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.